Janet Stewart and her husband Ray Shatney own the oldest registered Scottish Highland cattle herd in the country. When selling them for breeding stock wasn't sustainable, Janet decided to add beef to the equation. So when did you guys start the, the beef side of the business, like the uh, versus just selling the yeah. stock? So we started selling at the farmer's market in Montpelier in 2007. Okay. And we were very lucky to get into that because that was how people started seeing the beef. And then they'd say to the co-op, gee, how come you don't sell this? And when we first started, a lot of places said, we have plenty of meat suppliers, we don't need any. And I said, please, just taste it. It's not the same. And they did. And I gave away a lot of samples in the beginning. But once you get it in people's mouths, they never want to eat anything else. So. We, used to cook, we used to cook samples at the farmer's markets. Yeah. I did. Mm -hmm. I can't boil water. <laughs> Well, obviously you can cook Highland beef though. Uh, uh, at the farmer's market. So tell me, what is it about the beef? Is it the tenderness? Is it the flavor profile? What is it? I was the chair of the uh, beef marketing committee for the American Highland Cattle Association for many years. And I worked with a Dr. Wiegand from the University of Missouri. And we set up a protocol to actually test the beef. So I can walk up to someone and say, this is the best beef you've ever tasted. It's going to be so tender, and they can say, prove it. Mm -hmm. I can prove it. Yeah. Because we did a study with the University of Missouri, and we took, it was a very different kind of scientific study, so we took samples from all over the United States. Big farms, small farms, grass-fed, grain-finished, so that people who raise highlands can know that their beef is going to have these characteristics. So uh, we studied... Uh, tenderness and we studied uh, taste differences and for the tenderness they do a mechanical test of pulling the meat apart which duplicates what it feels like in your mouth when you're chewing and the industry standard is generally a four okay. so any meat that is less than a four is considered more tender anything that is more than a four is considered less tender Almost every sample when we did, uh, do we do 200 samples? 200 samples, I think. And almost every sample from all over the United States, big farms, small farms, people have been doing it for a short time, long time. So the Highland beef turned out to be more tender than the other breeds. Wow. So I asked Dr. Wiegand, I said, what is it about the beef? The fibers in the muscle are actually different. Oh wow. There so there's like more a fibers. scientific reason. Correct. So there are more fibers but they're thinner. Okay. So if you compare chewing a piece of lasagna to a piece of angel hair pasta, mm -hmm. that's what's happening in your mouth with the Highland beef. Okay. And the translation to your brain is this is tender. So it takes less chewing because the fibers are thinner. Mm -hmm. And so that was really neat to me is yeah. that there was a physiological reason for why it is yeah. more tender. And these have not been genetically altered for ever, almost 2,000 years. Yeah. And so the beef is the way it has been all this time. It's amazing. Yeah.